be without fault, sons and daughters of God. December 7th. We know not the hour of the Master's appearing, yet signs all foretell that the moment is near. He will come in the clouds of His Father's bright glory, but we know not the hour. And in their mouth was found no gill, for they are without fault before the throne of God. Revelation chapter 14 verse 5. Sin is a hateful thing. It marred the moral beauty of a large number of the angels. It entered our world and well nigh obliterated the moral image of God in man. But in his great love, God provided a way whereby man might regain the position from which he fell in yielding to the tempter. Christ came to stand at the head of humanity to work out in our behalf a perfect character. As many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. What does the Lord require of his blood bought heritage? The sanctification of the whole being, purity like the purity of Christ, perfect conformity to the will of God into the holy city, there can enter nothing that defileth or maketh a lie. We can reveal the likeness of our divine Lord. We can know the sense of spiritual life. We can honor our Maker. Higher than the highest human thought can reach is God's ideal for His children. He wants our minds to be clear, our temper sweet, our love abounding. Then the peace that passeth knowledge will flow from us to bless all with whom we come in contact. The atmosphere surrounding our souls will be refreshing. Many are holding on to the truth with but the tips of their fingers. The precious time that should be spent in speaking of the Savior's power to save is being spent by many in carrying evil reports. Unless they make a decided change, they will be found wanting. Unless they have an entire transformation of character, they will never enter heaven. The truly converted man has no inclination to think all talk of the faults of others. His lips are sanctified, and as God's witness, he testifies that the grace of Christ has transformed his heart. Those only will enter heaven who have overcome the temptation to think and speak evil. Ellen G. White Daily Devotions Within Hope of Eternal Life Ministry